What is going on, beautiful people? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? And in this video, what we are going to do is simply to write a function and some sort of a program to test it out that will receive two arrays of the same size, okay? So the function is going to receive two arrays of the same size. And then what the function is going to do is simply to swap between each and any of the values of these two arrays. So swap between their values, between their values, just one by one, okay? And the time complexity of this thing is going to be O of N, okay? So basically, n represents the size of the array, so we are simply going to iterate over both of these arrays and simply to swap between the values of each and any of them. So, for that what we have to do is simply, and I just make sure that you understand this O of n, because we are going to do it in just one operation, or a couple of operations, but not as uh, the size of the array specifies in the next video. So for now, what we are going to do is simply to define size and we are going to define some size, let's say five. Okay, and we are going to use inside of this main function, we are going to create two arrays. So int array one, okay, and we will set it to be of size. Let's put here some values. So one, three, six, eight, and 10. And in the second array, what we are going to do is put some other values. So for example, let's put it like two, uh, let's again, two, four, 11, and 17, okay? So that's what we are going to do and to hold for the second array. So awesome, we created our two arrays and what we are going to do now is simply to swap between their values. And how we are going to do that? We are going to write down a function that first of all is responsible for making just a swap between two integers. You do remember how this function looks like, don't you? So this function is go goes like this. So void swap, okay, and void swap, and there you go, int star uh, value one and int star value two. And the function goes like this. So int temp and temp equals two, value one and value one now equals two value two and value two equals now two to what is it equal to to temp okay so if i'm not mistaken here on any part basically guys um this is something we've done in one of our previous videos it's just the basic swap function between two values and the reason we are using pointers here, I'm not going to remind it uh, right now because we don't have time in this exercise. But if you have questions, feel free to ask and I will try to redirect you to the exact video where we talked about everything related to that. So we have the swap function and this swap function will not swap between all the elements of the array, right? We need to call the swap function into uh, uh, for each pair of these uh, values. So what we can do is simply also create additional array and additional function and call it void swap um, o n. Okay, o n is the time complexity. Swap o n, swap arrays. Let's do it like this. O n. Okay. So simply it's it's saying. Uh, let me explain it to you guys. So first of all, let's receive both of the arrays. So int arr1, int uh, pointer arr2, and we know the size is this size that defined here. So we can also use that, or we could have got it as arguments for, uh, for as parameters for this function. Okay, so the function is going to be like this. So void print arr, simply will receive the array, so int arr, and we know the size here is defined, so it doesn't really matter, and int i for i equals to zero as long as i is less than size i plus plus we are going to print the values so printf percentage up percentage d and we are going to print arr at index i and also just to specify that we are done with this printing just print a new line print backslash n at the end 
Awesome. So we have three functions. You see how you improved? I mean, there were times that we just were struggling to write one function, one basic function, and we just used this main. And now we have created three functions, I think in just a couple of minutes, and we are ready to move on and to use all of them to solve our problem. So what we are going to do is printf values before uh, swap, okay, or array values, array values before the swap. So <clears throat> what we are going to do now is to call the print ARR function for array one. Also do the same for ARR two. Okay, you're with me. And once we are done, we are going to call the function swap array on and to use it with array one and array two. Okay, guys. And what we are doing here is simply sending the address of the first element to here and this, the address of the second element to here, making sure that simply all, um, all of the function is going to do is to just to swap between the values. So let's build and run it. Okay, so build and run and there you go. Array values before swap are 1, 3, 6, 8, 10 for the array number 1 and 2, 2, 4, 11, 17 for array 2. But after the swap has occurred, we will see that array 1 contains 2, 2, 4, 11, 17 and array 2 has all the values that previously array 1 had. So that's freaking amazing, guys. And once again, I want to explain what happened here. Let's take another look. Okay, so we created first of all array one and array two. Here they are, okay, behind the scenes. And then we printed their values. Okay, there you go. And then we called the swap array uh, in O of N T and gave it array one and array two. So we got here and simply iterated over all the elements of these arrays one by one, taking uh, each time a value at a specific index, so ARR at index 0 and ARR2 at index 0, and making swap between both of them. So that's what we got on the first iteration. That's what we got on the second iteration after swapping these two values, and so on. So that's basically how we did it. We sent uh, here the address of a given value in this array of a given element and simply used the, uh, the common swap function. And what was the time complexity? The time complexity was O of n or O of size of this array because we iterated over all the elements of this array. And in one of the next videos, I'm going to show you some tip and trick. <laughs> Sometimes uh, interviewers like to ask, ask this question uh, on their interview questions. It's going to be a little bit different question, but we are going to see how we can like, I don't know if it's called cheating or tricking or whatever, to swap two given arrays that after we kind of close our eyes and open it up, we will see that both arrays have been changed and um, we can access them like, like this, but all of this operation will be done in just two or three lines of code without using any for loop and without um, depending our answer on the size of the array. So that's very interesting topic that we will cover hopefully in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Keep on practicing, keep on moving forward. And yeah, I, <laughs> I think we are done for this video. Bye bye.